Hello and welcome to this edition of Hack Naked TV for July 29th, 2015. I'm your host, Bo Bullock, and this week is going to be our Black Hat and DEF CON edition, as both of those conferences are coming up next week. Uh, so I'm going to detail a few of the more notable items that have come out of both conferences um, and have been in the news uh, quite a bit, even before the conferences have begun. As always, Hack Naked TV is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. If you're in the need of a penetration test, vulnerability assessment, or any other type of security assessment for that matter, contact Black Hills InfoSec by sending an email over to consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com. And by Cybery.it. Get the latest hacking and security training for free from www.cybery.it. Uh, we have a special referral link at the bottom. It's just hacknaked.tv forward slash Cybrary. Okay, so next week you're going to see a large number of interesting items come out of both Black Hat and DEF CON. Um, I just wanted to detail a few of the ones that I've seen so far that I think are going to be pretty interesting to see. Um, one that's already been uh, detailed is the, uh, the vulnerability against pretty much every Android device out there, uh, 950 million devices. Um, that would allow a complete compromise of a device remotely via text message. Uh, so this is the stage fright vulnerability. Um, stage fright is a media playback engine built into uh, Android devices natively. And so basically every Android device version 2.2 up to 4.2 uh, are pretty much vulnerable to um, being completely compromised remotely, but just by a text message being sent to the phone. Um, an attacker can literally just figure out their victim's phone number somehow send them a malicious text, gain complete uh, root access to the device, and um, have you know the ability to remotely control it and do things like listen in on phone calls, read text messages, do uh, you know check out the internet history and whatever they want to do. Um, install back doors. But all right, so there's a patch for this. Um, but you know, as we all know, each vendor for different Android devices has to push out the patches on their own. So it's all going to depend on how quickly each vendor can push out their patches to def to definitively cover um, all devices. But if you want to read some more about this, or, or not read, but if you want to see some more about this, go see Joshua D Drake at uh, Black Hat talk about this particular vulnerability he discovered. Uh, another thing that's coming up next week, and it's going to be at uh, DEF CON, uh, talked about by Oscar Salazar, is a, the ability to break into a Brinx CompuSafe Galileo safe in less than 60 seconds. So these, these safes are typically found at retail locations or stores, um, and they're, they're typically used by the organization to uh, insert money into, like that you've taken in as uh, payment from customers, and then it will count the money for you, count the cash, and deposit it into your bank account digitally. So it makes it for a nice, a nice uh, easy way to deposit your, your, your funds that you've taken in um, without actually having to go to a bank. And the idea is that uh, a Brinks employee comes and retrieves the cash every so often, um, you know, so that it's just not overflowing with cash. <clears throat> and that you, as a customer of the Brinks safe, can't actually get into it. But a security researcher found that uh, there is an unprotected USB drive, so physically unprotected, uh, that is attached to this device that he was able to open the actual safe door um, by inserting a malicious USB drive into this uh, slot. <clears throat> so, the technical details haven't been released yet, but uh, if you want to go see some more, he'll be talking at DEF CON. Um, but from what I understand, it sounds like it's a, a keystroke-based attack. So it sounds like he created uh, s similar to what a rubber ducky would do, uh, which is a human interface device, which would literally interact as a keyboard to the operating system, which I believe he, he actually mentioned that they're running Windows XP as well on these safes, um, which is yeah, a whole different category of problems. Um, but anyways, he, he basically uh, is using a keystroke-based attack to, um, to open the safe door. So if you want to see some more about that particular attack, go check out uh, his talk at DEF CON. It's Oscar Salazar. Uh, so apparently, uh, we have guns now that you don't even have to aim anymore to, to hit the target, which is kind of awesome, um, with the exception for one thing. So uh, there was a group of researchers that found they could modify a sniper rifle uh, particularly the tracking point $13,000 self-aiming rifle um, to either hit a different target or completely just miss targets all the time. Um, so the scope that's attached to this gun is is able to sense things like the temperature, the wind speed, uh, you, you input like the weight of your ammunition, and it will calculate all the, the right requirements for hitting a target without you ever having to like aim at all. Um, you should pull the trigger, it calculates everything, bam, target's done. Um, so this particular scope has Wi-Fi on it. Why not? Um, 
<laughs> the Wi-Fi is, is there to actually connect uh, like an iPad or something so you can view the uh, what the scope is seeing on a bigger bigger screen. Um, but some researchers found that through that Wi-Fi signal, <clears throat> one could interact with APIs on the actual scope itself to change those uh, those different requirements or different settings and parameters that are uh, being used by the scope to, to actually figure out where it's shooting. Um, so they could change things like the weight of the ammunition, which would make it you know shoot you know two and a half feet left instead of right, um, <clears throat> which uh, you know is is a very bad thing. So one you could remotely change where and a target is being uh, shot at. So like you could actually make it so that um, you're aiming at a completely different person, or you could uh, do a more permanent modification to the device remotely, um, which would make it so that the device just misses every single time. Um, so another interesting thing that will be talked about, this one will be at Black Hat by Runa Sandvik and Michael Auger. And probably the most notable, and the one that has received the most attention in the news, is the, uh, the car hacking vulnerability discovered by uh, Charlie Miller and Chris Valasek in Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Chrysler vehicles, which was the result of, which resulted in uh, a 1.4 million car recall. Uh, the vulnerability is in what's called Uconnect, and Uconnect is essentially a functionality built into newer newer models of cars within the last few years that um, essentially interacts with with uh, you know different um, radio functionalities and other things that go on within your car. Uh, the, the Uconnect software actually has a cellular connection to the internet that provides the car with a public IP address. Um, so essentially, Charlie Miller and Chris Valasek found that they could access cars remotely over the internet by figuring out these public IP addresses and found a vulnerability that would allow them to perform different things that are very, very scary on a moving vehicle. Things like kill the brakes. So uh, there is a patch for it that can be installed uh, via USB. You can go download the patch, put it on a USB, go fix your car today. Um, but if you know like a family member or a friend or somebody that you don't think could actually do that, uh, they can just take their car into the shop and they'll update it for them. Uh, but if you want to see some more details about that particular vulnerability, go check out Charlie Miller and Chris Valasek's talk at Black Hat next week. That's it for this edition of Hack Naked TV. Um, if you want to see more Hack Naked TV, check out hacknaked.tv. Check out Security Weekly at blip.tv slash Security Weekly. Check out the show notes for Security Weekly at wiki.securityweekly.com. I'll be speaking at the HTCIA conference August 30th through September 2nd. Uh, if you want to attend that conference, you can use the 15% off promo code HackNaked, all uppercase, no spaces. Um, and you can email us at uh, the show at hacknaked.tv. And I'm on Twitter at DaftHack. I look forward to seeing you all at De uh, DEFCON and Black Hat next week. Um, come say hi, and I'll see you then. Bye.